you've had good training, you've had good experiences, and you think, ah, oh, I, I can do this. And then suddenly you come to that point in your career where you realize, actually, you know what? I really don't know what to do. The first really impactful experience was with Coca-Cola in Romania. About a week after arrival, the Russian currency crisis uh, happens. And so faced with a crisis of that proportion, you know, and you're the leader and people obviously looking to you for direction, that was the most naked moment I felt because I really didn't know what to do. And that led to an incredible journey of, uh, for, the, for myself personally, but also for the whole business there. We realized, you know, in times of crisis, there, there is no real playbook, you know. What it really brought home to me was the, the, you know, and we use this little phrase, you know, we are the people we've been waiting for. <laughs> there is no one else who's going to fly in and help us out. There is no white knight. It's up to us. So I initially started off wanting to be an industrial psychologist. It sounded very sophisticated. And then I had a, what I would describe as a sort of Damascus Road experience. I was in a, uh, one of my early courses on uh, uh, business administration and there was a marketing professor. He was so dynamic and there was chalk flying and he was challenging us and, and right there and then in the class I said, that's what I want to do. I want to go into marketing. And I think many of us can look back on our you know, journey through colleges and, and we can pinpoint a professor or two here and there that really made a difference. Very often the breakthroughs in you know, academia come from cross-disciplinary you know, intermingling of different theories and different perspectives. And similarly in business, you know, it's, it's, it's rare that a, a breakthrough comes from one discipline. It comes when you get a great group of people together with quite diverse backgrounds that sometimes you can generate some really interesting ideas. I do think that's what Pepperdine has always tried to do. So my business experience and Pepperdine's own ethos and mission just seem to really, you know, gel together. You know, after 20 years with Coca-Cola, fantastic years, and just it's a great company and it did some really cool things. I just felt, you know, it, it's time for Derek 2.0, you know, and uh, sort of a phase of, of significance. And, um, and although I've had, you know, lots of important jobs and, and uh, meaningful, weighty jobs, I feel this is my most significant job. And the reason for that is I really believe in what we do. You know, business has become such a powerful change agent in the world you know it's one of the most influential social institutions of our age and it's incumbent on us to ensure that the sorts of leaders that are being produced and developed and trained have an appropriate ethical and moral framework and that excites me you know is is is, is making sure that you know the students that pass through the, the Pepperdine experience not only are potential leaders who will be the best in the world at certain things, but also the best for the world.